excited about this. It's the first time I've driven an R32, so. Now I know where I am. And I know where the dog park is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. It feels a lot more modern than it is. It's not as laggy as I thought it was going to be. The rear wheel steering is on. It's weird, like the rear wheel steering on it, it feels slightly as if it's about to shift or oversteer. And then it just kind of squats down and hooks up. So it's... Uh, I can see why people get rid of the high cast on the rear, but uh, yeah, certainly way ahead of its time. And surprisingly, it doesn't feel that odd that I'm sat on the wrong side, which I guess is probably due to the fact I spent 22 years sitting on this side back up. It's actually pretty civilized. You can just you can, you can cruise. Speed. <laughs> Did you go for six? I went for a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so what did this do to your uh, your wanting one? Nothing at all. It made me want even more. I think. <laughs> so it didn't help at all. It didn't. Um, it didn't. It didn't make me not want one. It made me want one even more. <laughs> the. Uh, cool having this with uh, another sort of two three hundred horsepower could be a lot of fun. Could also get me in a lot of trouble. Be uh, the local law enforcement, but uh, I think they would uh, they'd have to catch it first, and I think that could be a bit of an issue for them. It's interesting. Uh, so I've raced a turbo car all year uh, with a BMW, and. Uh, Interesting how this one delivers the power relative to that. It's, uh, yeah, certainly, uh, as I said, certainly very ahead of its time. I'm, Im I'm impressed, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, I guess we'll go, go and see what he wants for it. <laughs> 